What's up, party animals? My name is Kezi, and I just wanted to make a quick update before I begin about, uh, sorry I haven't been making content lately, life's been crazy, and oof, not the best. Uh, let's just jump right in. So, I wanted to talk about furry music and its importance to the fandom, and also how you can get involved, because I think that music is a wonderful, wonderful way of expressing yourself and just a good way to connect with others. Because if you've ever been to a, mu a furry convention, you've heard music probably the whole time. Just because, you know, there's always someone walking around with a Bluetooth speaker, someone sitting on a bench playing with their DJ stuff, or the nightly raves, the dance competitions, private parties, jam sessions, all of it. It's all music and it's still all furries. And I think that with that, a lot of people can connect with each other through music in that way because, you know, it, it helps you connect with them not just on the level of, hey, you have a cute fursona or fursuit or whatever. You actually get to know almost who they are based on their musical tastes and other things like that. It's a way of expressing yourself. And if you're into music or making music, you can find people who are both into those kinds of things. And I think that that's insanely powerful. I even met my furry boyfriend at a rave. We weren't even actually at a furry event, he just saw me in the fursuit. And I think that's huge. And I think that anyone who wants to get involved can, because it's not as hard as it seems. Yes, the skill ceiling is practically infinite, but getting into it, putting your paws in and just getting into the scene and making stuff and having fun is just that. I think that with the sense of community that you can get and the furries that you can meet, because I've met so many furries, like I use Bark for example, and the most connections I find are when these furries love music almost as much as I do. And that's huge for me. I've met so many furry producers, so many talented musicians who honestly are just better than me. And it is so much fun to talk music with them and also have furries to talk about too, because I think the connection of the two, it's just perfect. You look at old furry art and you see like this you know, the, the rave scene. Even I got into the furry fandom through a musician known as Lap Fox Tracks, and now known as Hallie Labs. And I think that's incredible. With how much music is important to the fandom, it's odd how difficult it is to make furry music, especially when you're not using lyrics, such as myself, who's an EDM artist. Because you can't say furry with a wub, but you can bark and you can use animal noises. And I think that's something really cool is to be able to use the sounds that animals make and remix them into music. Um, one of my early fursona designs was actually gonna be a bird because I was looking into the, the, I, the, to what the animals like because I wanted music. And a lot of, most animals in fact, don't understand pitch and don't understand rhythm, except for a couple. And the predominant one was birds. They can keep rhythm and they can keep pitch. Bird songs. And I think that that would be, you know, a rave bird fursona that makes music. I think that would be super cool. But I picked a coyote and oddly enough, it's fitting. A lot of ancient cultures say that coyotes, they're the god of song and dance and celebration. And that sounds like someone you might be watching right now. So I just wanted to bring it up that, hey, y'all can make music. I think it's super big. I'm trying to get myself back into doing it. I have a release coming out here pretty soon. It probably, hopefully will be done, uploaded by the time this is up on the internet. And I think like, hey, if you guys make music, share it in the comments below, share music that you like, friends made, anything that you just want to put out there because I think that one, you can just, Music's that good. Music's that good for finding each other, finding out what you like, and I think that's huge because, you know, even the genres or the songs you like can really tell a lot about a person based just on that. So look up the software you want and don't be afraid to just screw around, make some noise, and even share it with friends because it's not about sounding good. It's about having fun and it's about basically you know, it's just about sharing a part of yourself. And with that, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.